All right, this one's gonna be on the Gopher protocol using W3M, and this is actually natively. I didn't know they even had this, um, you know, built in, because uh, my old version of W3M it never compiled with um, the Gopher support. But uh, I'm not sure who maintains the uh, the Arch Linux package, but they finally added in here. And um, we can actually use Gopher natively. So all you do is type in this command. And if you have this gopher, uh, you know, string in there, then that means you have uh, natively. Anyways, uh, how does this work here? Uh, keep in mind, I just barely started using gopher, so I don't know like too much about it, but uh, it works natively here. Uh, so we have a, a website in here, or they call this, not a website, they call it uh, gopher hole. Okay, there's some lingos you gotta understand. Uh, websites or gopher hole? Uh, the World Wide Web, that means go for space. Blogs are flogs. And a bunch of other lingos, but that's that's really all I know at the moment. Anyways, uh, here is a gopher hole here. This one is called gopher.black. And I like it uh, how they um, laid it out here. Let me uh, get rid of the numbers there. But I like how they have like each link you know, they have like, oh, this is a directory or is a uh, text file. And they have like image, uh, binary, and it was at the bottom here. This one says HTML. That means it'll go outside of the Gopher protocol and it'll take you to, you know, uh, HTTP, HTTPS and all that. So that will exit the Gopher protocol. More on that later, um, but how's this work? Basically, you know, you click on uh, a directory that will take you to like a different page here, right? Go back. Now, if it's a text file, uh, is you know what it sounds like. It's just plain text here, right? All text. Um, what else we got? So, uh, well, you you still can exit you know to HTML since uh, W3M, you know, has support for HTML gopher now so you can actually go outside of gopher if you need to if they have links for it um but in here they actually have like different services uh which is kind of interesting because i've only been using gopher for how many days now like uh, four or five days that's it but they have um kind of like google what is that one called gopher uh, yeah, this one is called Veronica uh, 2, and this is uh, searching Gopher Space. So it's kind of like the Google of the Gopher, uh, you know, sites here. So we'll search for something. Let's say we search for Stallman. Did I spell that right? No, I didn't spell that right. Uh, Gopher Veronica Stallman. And in here, uh, this is your search results, right? And let me uh, disable the uh, clickable links here. But you see, uh, they have directories, they have text files. So it's for directories, it's basically, um, well, this one doesn't have nothing. That's another thing with, um, you know, the search engine and stuff like that. They don't actually clean up like dead links. <laughs> so you might get something, you might not. But uh, it's all good. What else is there? Let me give you some examples. So text files in here, there's still text files, right? Um, there was a video somewhere down here, right? Okay, so for videos, this is amazing. They actually have uh, videos in here. And believe it or not, MPV can actually play this video. And if you watch my video on... Uh, setting up a URL portal script that I created. Uh, basically, let me mute the thing here though. Uh, but basically you can actually use MPV to play this video in the Gopher uh, protocol, right? So let's do this here real quick here. And look at that, we have the video on the side here. Like I'm normally used to, I do this in the, the World Wide Web, but now I can do it Gopher too, so if I need to. Um, now this one is an image, right? As far as images, 
you can't really use uh, uh well the only thing I know that that will work with this is um the curl command because you can't use wget or aria to see or anything that because they don't have support for the gopher protocol but uh curl actually supports for it so I downloaded you know, uh, well, my curl command downloads the image to a temporary file, and it's just going to open it with my uh, uh, image viewer. So let me show you that here. And there you go. And my image viewer here is, uh, what was that, W3M IMG display, right? So when I'm done with that, I'm back here. And uh, this down here is a JPEG. So it's the same process here. I use curl, and then I... Uh, you know, use my image viewer. Do we have a a GIF file? Let me see here. Uh, I think we do. Put for an example. There you go. There's a GIF file here, right? And I can do the same thing. Basically, it's gonna do curl, and then uh, I can open it with uh, my MPV player to view the GIF files. Or if I want to use Chaffa, I can use um. Where's my uh, URL portal here? Yeah, so if I don't want to use MPV and I want to use uh, Chaffa, then I can just use straight up, you know, terminal stuff. And it will actually do uh, it from my terminal instead of using MPV to play that GIF file. Right, so there you go. Uh, however I wanted to do it. And that's for images, how I would handle that. And the same thing, you know, I've been doing that since uh, uh, using for HTTP also. But the good thing is that it actually works with uh, the Gopher protocol at all, um, using MPV or curl to download or stream, depending on what it is. Um, that's how I do that. What else we need to talk about? So they do have a different... Uh, oh, no, we have an audio too, right? Let me do audio. So we do Veronica. We'll do uh, piano. I saw one last time. Music. We do aug. Uh, do we got anything? Okay, there we go. So these are aug files, and if I want to listen to it, maybe it's an aug file, maybe it's an MP3, whatever it is. Uh, same thing. You know, my uh, my script will handle it, and you see, I'm playing uh, it with MPV here in the terminal uh, down here. And once I'm done, let's close it off. Anyways, that's how I handle media stuff image stuff and um, again watch my video on uh, URL portal which I should update one day but too lazy right now uh, next thing what else they got in here <clears throat> they do got uh, Wikipedia and this one's called Gopherpedia and it's all in plain text you know you don't really get any links or anything so here's uh, you know text here all right, no links at all. I mean, there's links down here in the bottom, but it's not clickable. But the good thing with uh, W3M is that you can actually turn um, plain text links into clickable links. So let me enable it here. And so normally, if you're using this in uh, HTTP, this is how Tmux would look like uh, in the Wikipedia, right? With all the uh, referral links, you know, and all that. Even the, the footer links too, if, uh, you know but in gopher it's just all in plain text that's it right no links no nothing and it looks cleaner maybe some people like that maybe there's some that you know don't but you have your options there uh what else we got so instead of wikipedia we do got we got reddit although uh the one i like is called pow pow here this thing, let me uh, let's go to the Linux subreddit here. Uh, but basically, this is a mirror to, you know, the the Reddit, and it's all in plain text. So, for example, if I want to um, open this one, and there you go, this one is plain text. And they have people's comments and all that. And if I want, well, normally it's you know plain text. There's no uh, URL or anything of like that. So it'd be like this. But you know, since I'm using W3M, 
there is a feature to enable clickable links. Even if it's plain text, you can convert it. So that's why you can see links here. All right, and W3M, since it supports you know HTTP or HTTPS, we can actually open those links uh, if we wanted to. Anyways, uh, that's uh, for Reddit. And if you want to change to different subreddits, because this right now we're on the Linux subreddit, all you got to do is edit your uh, address here and just type in, let's say we go to the command line uh, subreddit and it'll switch us over. So this is the command line subreddit. And you know, if I want to read something else in here, there we go, right? Pretty simple. Uh, go for what else we got? Oh yeah, this one is, I can't believe this. They actually have like a, you know, movie listing here. I can't believe this. But let's type in a, a zip code here, 91601, my old zip code. And it'll tell you, you know, what movies are playing uh, near you, uh, you know, what theater and all that. But here you go. Let's say I want to see uh, Army of the Dead. And they'll tell me, you know, the show time for, what was that? Cinemark, North Hollywood, the show times and all that, the date. So that one's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I might actually use that, which I haven't been to a theater in a long time. What was the last movie I saw in the theater? Terminator Genesis, Genesis. All right. That was a long time ago. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, we do got adult website, although I don't, I can't show that on YouTube, but, um, uh, they have the Gopher Bay. It's, it is what it sounds like. Um, it is the Pirate Bay in Gopher, uh, you know, format here. So they have, look at this. They got the ship too. Unbelievable. Like, you know, even like the regular, um, do they got another the regular one in uh, the Pirate Bay? Let me see. Let me go check the pirate right here. Uh, they don't. Even, they don't even have the ship anymore, do they? Let me see here. Yeah, no ship. Let me turn on images. See this one. Look at the, the regular pipe bay. Don't even have the ship, but this thing it has the ship. In ASCII art, but look at that. <laughs> uh, although they don't have the comment section or any of that. Um, I mean, they have all the important stuff that you really need, you know, the, uh, the name of it, the, uh, magnet link, and that's it, right? And I can click on this magnet link and I'll send it to my, um, torrent client, which I showed you in the last video, how to set up, uh, a magnet link CGI script with W3M and it'll automatically, you know, download it. So this works the same thing because magnet links are like, you know, um, easy for torrent clients nowadays. Anyways, that's how, uh, um, it might be a good thing too. Cause you know, there's not a lot of, I, uh, um, ISP blocking gopher protocols, are they? So if you are blocked out of, uh, the pirate bay and I mean, there's a bunch of mirrors already, but let's just say, you know, all those mirrors are gone. You can actually use gopher, uh, as your mirror and you can actually download torrents because they're all magnet links anyways. So there you go. That's another way to get around like, uh, the pirate bay being blocked and all that. So that's it for that one. Anything else we got in here? Um, hmm. go for, oh yeah, this is a good site. Go for lawn here. If you're new to Gopher, um, there's this, uh, listing of sites and they'll show you more stuff in here than uh, I can talk about. But this thing is pretty cool. So if we go to the web here, all right, they'll tell you uh, some services that's been cloned in for the Gopher protocol. And I like the way they format it. It's like mostly plain text, you know, not a lot of uh, links and stuff like that. And even if it's a link, I'll know what it is because it says directory, it'll say text file, it'll say binary, it'll say images. Uh, really cool. You know, I wish. Uh, Regular HTML does that, so I can just skip the, the stuff I don't care about, you know. But anyways, here it is, see? Uh, they have, like, other uh, links to different uh, um, you know, mirrors that they have, you know, on the World Wide Web. Like Hacker News here. Right, look at this thing. So we actually 
see a listing and in here they should have like comments and stuff like that right so that's the hacker news and we got what else we got oh we got the sears one too so this one's kind of weird so sears here it's a uh, search engine basically but it doesn't actually search gopher stuff it searches like the World Wide web uh websites uh, but it's in a gopher you know page here right so let's say for example i search for linux and you know i would assume um that because it's a gopher website uh it will search for other gopher stuff but it's, it doesn't it searches for like normal http stuff so you see how it says html here uh which is kind of weird but hey that's just how it works here all right oh why do i type images on let me turn it off here uh, so there you go uh, for Sears. Now there's quirks with using W3M because it's not like fully supported. I'll say it's um, probably 70% uh, compatible because I mean, if you're using this just for browsing, finding information, reading some stuff, yeah, this, this thing will work no problems, right? But uh, I tried to post on um, a guest book before. I forgot what page it was, but it converted all my spaces into plus signs. So there's course with that. Let me show you another one here. So let's say, for example, if I want to search uh, another uh, search thing. Uh, normally, if I do this on, uh, what was the other one? Oh, let's get rid of this. Okay, so normally if I search for Veronica, right? And we'll search uh, wallpapers or something like that. Uh, so there you go, right? And then if I want to search for a new one, I hit this one here, right? And they'll give me the text field, and I can search for something else, like uh, Ubuntu. <coughs> right, and it'll, it'll search for it. You know, this one has the text field, right? Some sites, uh, it does that, no problems. But look at this one over here, Sears. If I use this one, uh, new search, they'll give me like this thing. There's no text view or any of that. So some quirks with this one is that if you just edit the uh, address bar at the bottom here um, and just type in, you know, after this question mark, you just type in whatever you're looking for. Let's say I search for Arch Linux. And then it will work. So uh, this is how you do that. So sometimes if they don't have like a, a search field or, you know, or whatever type of um, box that you need to do, all you gotta do is edit the uh, the URL here. Sometimes uh, they don't have the question mark, but just adding the question mark and then search, you know, whatever it is you are uh, searching for, like Fedora. Right, so that, you know, that's how you would solve that. Uh, other quirks, uh, let me give you some example. Uh, let me close up all these stuff here. Got too much stuff. Um, what's the one that we had last time? So, for example, here, uh, we talked about this in the beginning, but <coughs> you know, uh, normally if you open uh, HTML here, let me uh, disable this so we can explain this here. So normally the default behavior would be this. If I click on a HTML or a magnet link or something like that, because it takes you to the World Wide Web, it will give you a in-betweener page or a warning page that says, hey, uh, you're leaving Gopher, right? And it does this for every HTML, you know, link that you go to, right? Uh, it's very annoying. I mean, uh, if you see the HTML, you know you, you're automatically going to leave Gopher, but it always gives you that warning um, every time. So it's really annoying. And anyways, I have to uh, create my own um, substitution URL here. Uh, normally, I would use this, but in here, I don't know sure why, but um, the site config for W3M, they don't allow you to use empty uh you know like nothing you can't you can't you have to put something in here otherwise it doesn't work 
if that was the you know the issue this one would be the command for it but as far as right now you can't use uh nothing in the uh substitute url line so that's why i had to create my own uh cg high script and in there you can actually use said and then said you can use you know empty and you don't have to like put anything uh so that's what we're doing here right all you gotta do is add these two lines in your site config and basically it's gonna do a redirect every time uh you know you go somewhere so for example if you look up top here right uh up top here where it says go for blah 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 if i click on this uh html it'll actually do a redirect uh it'll go to that redirect cgi script uh and then it'll take me to the correct url basically what it's doing is that it will take uh this url here right and it's just gonna strip out you know this portion and what you're left with is just uh this part here and that's what we want to do uh to go to that url so you can see here in a minute when i click on it you see it says uh redirect cgi right so there you go that's how it does it so you'll skip all that bs message that we always see and it will just automatically take us to uh the world wide web uh you know bypassing that page and what is the script for that i'll link you in the description of course but um where was that one here we go this is three lines right basically we're echoing out the uh, URL and we're using the set command to replace that one with nothing in the beginning and what we left with is just the uh, HTTP link or the magnet link or whatever it is um, you know that it has uh, so that's it for that and this is how you would set it up here Right, just follow the directions not that hard um, is that it for that pretty much it for gopher I like it a lot uh, I barely just started using it like a couple of days ago like I said but um, you know a bunch of these pages are pretty interesting I mean I did find some stuff that I didn't find on the regular web and some of these stuff are you know um, or probably dead in the web and then people actually back it up in here so it's still useful i mean most of the stuff you know like those uh what was it going go for lawn i mean most of the stuff in, in here i can access it with uh the World Wide web already but just the fact that you can do it in gopher is just uh i don't know i just feel like uh it's kind of like underground ish you know but it's still cool. I like it. All right. They, they even have adult websites and uh, I can view that with, you know, my MPV player. Like I said, even images with my, uh, uh, you know, image uh, viewer also. Anywho, that is the Gopher protocol. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, dig it and make sure when you're using W3M uh, that you have it compile with it. Uh, for a long time, I thought it, it never supported, but it's just basically it was never compiled with it. But whoever maintains the Arch Linux package um, in the official repositories, they actually enable the Gopher protocol now. So that's a good thing. However, uh, like I said, it's not like 100% compatible. You know, there's uh, issues with spaces when I was, uh, um, what was it, entering someone's guestbook. It would just convert all my um, spaces into plus signs. That was weird. And, you know, the search engine thing uh, with the field, I just show you. And then uh, the HTML, you know, uh, warning link every time, uh, kind of annoying. But other than that, uh, that's how you fix it. And like I said, if you're just using this for browsing the gopher space, um, not an issue. You know, I, I uh, had not, you know, I had a good experience. Even with all the limitations um, that, you know, this W3M build has, uh, it's still like, I'm still blazing fast with it, you know. Anyways, that is Gopher. Check it out. Uh, you might find some cool stuff in there. You might not, but uh, there you go. That'll be it for this one.